everyone, Patty here, full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, better known as Girl Hustle on YouTube. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can make money with uh, greeting cards, vintage, and they don't even have to be vintage greeting cards, so stick with me because I'm going to share with you some brands, what you want to look for, and I'm also going to share a few cards with you to help you uh, make some money for yourself. So, if you're out in the thrift store... And if you could get cards at a good price, pick them up. I highly recommend picking them up. I got two bags the other day, each $2 for each bag I paid. And I came home and I start researching them. Now, when you find these, you can sell them and you can look on, go on eBay and you can look at the sold listings and the completed listings and... <clears throat> They're selling for a couple hundred dollars. If you don't want to list them individually, you could sell them in lots and make a quick couple hundred bucks. So that's number one tip. What you want to look for is cards that are in sets, hand stenciled ones, fold out ones, poster size, the old ones with the uh, Victorian lace, they might have like lace, like a late lace cutout on the front, um, like, a, like a doily kind of a look to it. It has like that paper lace look to it. Like I said, cutout ones, Victorian, Victorian are very sought after. Embossed, which is you can feel the card. Patriotic ones sell good. Anything unique and different. Any cards that have any kind of movement uh, or they open. People also use them for scrapbooking. So, like I said, if you see them at a good price, pick them up. Some of the brands that sell. And you want to get your paper and pencil. Hallmark. Now, these are the vintage ones, and they don't have to be. Even the, They'll even sell. Even the newer ones will sell for you. De La Rue, MCM, Norcross, Paw Print, Tasha Tudor. There's various artists people collect. Uh, Warhol, Hillway. There's different types people look for. They look for Superman, which is highly sought after. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. Some people just collect uh, patriotic ones, Christmas trees, uh, the Playboy ones, Snoopy, Mickey Mouse, Felix, Santa. Some people just collect the Santa Claus ones, the German die cut ones. You will see a lot of these in thrift stores. I don't know how many times... I passed them by. I just didn't want to go through them, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it. It's a good price. So I picked it up and I did have, I do have some watchers on what I have listed. So I know there's an interest. Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. People are looking for different dates. They'll collect di different dates of them. Some will collect different artists, different brands, different kinds of pictures and styles. There are single cards that actually sold for hundreds of dollars. So don't, if you see them, please, I highly recommend picking them up. They're good bread and butter items. They're good fillers. Yeah, you might make five and $10 on some of them. But when you're getting hundreds of them for such a low price and some of them, some single ones go for a couple hundred dollars. I'm going to share some of the ones I got with you. This, this is a little happy birthday one. It, 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 the, I can't really see the back of it, what brand it is, but, uh, Hold on a second. I'm going to get a magnifying glass. Okay. Sorry about that.
Okay, so this is an MCM. Actually, I just said it in our, that it should be looked for. This card, what I find very interesting about it, and it's so pretty and delicate, it feels so soft. It's so much softer than any card that I've ever felt. And I know that sounds strange. And you see how it's cut, it has a little cut out detail. People look for these, so I'm gonna be listing this. It's a pretty card, but the it's just a soft, soft paper. And you don't necessarily have to sell them with the envelope. If you get the envelopes with them, Okay, these are by famous artists. These are vintage ones, and I got quite a few of them. But you could you can actually see by the uh, just by the picture on the card, the detail. You could kind of feel get that feeling, and you just know that it's old when it's old. You'll get used to what to look for when you're collecting them. Just little note cards. And they're all blank. And like I said, you don't have your cards do not have to be blank. Uh, this is a vintage Christmas card. It's a Christmas original. And when I when I list them, I, I list the front of the card, I list the inside of the card, and I list the back. And if there's anything wrong with it, any markings, sometimes tape or glue will still get stuck to it, I will make a note of that because people will still buy them. Okay, now here's a, um, just an, this is an embossed one. I don't know if you can see it. You could see how you could, it's textured, you could feel it. A lot of these ones from the galleries are collectible and they have little stories on the back. A lot of them are like wildlife uh, figures that are looked after. Here's one of those, uh, and we remember. Uh, a lot of you probably remember these, the ones that have that glitter on it, that sparkle. This is an old vintage uh, Christmas card, and it's a, from Sunshine brand. It's called the Sunshine card. These are just some of the things that you want to look for. Now, the, these ones are a little bit collectible, the Colonial Williamsburg. And I'm thinking because of the... Uh, the pictures are like photographs. And it's just a blank note card inside. Now this is this is too too old. It's from this one's 1996. And some of the other some of the older ones actually will be uh some of them will be marked, their date will be in Roman numerals, and some of them will be uh, 75. Okay, this is on a limited edition. The, the, this is in Pennsylvania, Hopewell Village. Here's another one by the same artist, and he did a little bio on the back of each picture and I find them very interesting. But people collect stuff like this. I'll just show you the rest. There's only a couple more. This is an effort effort a cloister. Washington headquarters in Valley Forge. Douglasville, PA, along the river. Another one, an, another uh, one that uh, 
is people look for a lot are ones that are drawn by the ones that are hand drawn by the kids in the children's hospitals like the cancer research center like look for the the ones that are hand drawn a lot of them are collectible the victorian ones are very very collectible uh art deco style now you're gonna have to look up a lot of these styles like art deco i looked it up last night I wanted to see what those particular cards look like. So I went off of eBay. I looked up Art Deco because I, so I did some research on it. And now I know what to look for. So that it's a real quick video. And I know I was kind of all over the place with it, but I just want you to know that there's money in cards. And the reason I shared this with you today is because they are in the thrift store all the time. I see them all the time. So if you could get them, especially if you can get them in a lot, buy them. Okay. All right. So if you haven't, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.